When one got over the shock of Little Redwood's enormous size, he was, I am told by people who used to see him almost daily, tooth to slowly about Hyde Park, a singularly bright and pretty baby. He rarely cried or needed a comforter. Commonly, he clutched a big rattle, and sometimes he went along hailing the bus drivers and policemen along the road outside the railways as Dada and Baba in a sociable, democratic way. There goes that, there a great boom food baby, the bus driver used to say. Looks healthy, the forward passenger would remark. Bottle fed, the bus driver would explain. They say it holds a gallon and had to be specially made for him. Very healthy child, anyhow, the poor passenger would conclude. When Mrs. Redwood realized that his growth was indeed going on indefinitely and logically, and this she really did for the first time when the motor perambulator arrived, she gave way to a passion of grief. She declared she never wished to enter her nursery again. She wished she was dead. She wished the child was dead. She wished everybody was dead. She wished she had never married Redwood. Wished no one had ever married anybody. Ajax a little and retired to her own room where she lived almost exclusively on chicken broth for three days.